Morning. It's a little before 8 a.m. on a rainy day, but we just got a call from the post office, and there's something new for the farm that just arrived. Come on. Time to prepare the coop for spring. We've locked all of the big birds up in the small coop for a little bit and we're going to clear out all the cardboard, clear out the pine shavings from winter, and this lets us kick all of the chicks out of the house. So everybody's going to move <laughs> into the coop, get to know their new home for a few days before we start working on integrating the flock. That means that the brooders in the house are ready for something new. Uh, we've gone back to just paper towels over the blue tarps. This will give them some traction and help us control pasty butt. We've gone back to little waterers and little feeders, and we set up the heat lamp and gotten everything up to temperature for them. Well, that was disappointing. Uh, between the ones that were dead in the box uh, and the stress all the others had been under, once we put them in the brooder, they didn't last very long. Uh, the entire shipment was a loss to us. Uh, this is our second shipment from this particular uh, hatchery that we've had issues with this year. Uh, we had originally picked them as our primary provider. Uh, we are canceling all other shipments from them for the rest of the year, and we're going to try and find uh, other possible vendors. I've identified several hatcheries that are closer, uh, and I've placed an order with one that will be a almost direct replacement to the one that was just lost. And hopefully things will go well. So after the loss of the first batch of guineas, we decided to make sure that absolutely everything was perfect with our brooder. Uh, we went out over the weekend and picked up some more baby chicks uh, just to make sure that everything was happy in there. Uh, we did have a couple of losses, so I had a friend over and she lent us this lamp and we dialed, tweaked a few things in the brooder on the assumption that it was just running too hot and having the light in the absolute center made it hard for the chicks to find a happy gradient. So we have the light off to the side now, and we have the temperature generally dialed down about five, seven degrees lower. All right, just got the call from the post office that I've got another package. Hopefully things go better this time. are happy and healthy looking. This is wonderful.
All right, so what's the difference between the two hatcheries? First and foremost, the hatchery we use today is much closer. It is just about 30 miles down the highway from us. Uh, it's a shame we weren't allowed to pick up the chicks there ourselves, but biosecurity means we can't. The hatchery we were using is several states and several hundred miles away. Normally, that isn't a problem, but the Postal Service hasn't been as good as it used to be. And this wasn't the only issue. The packages they were shipped in is an issue as well. The first hatchery used this box without any heating and it was the same number of birds. There were 30 guinea keats in this box. The only difference between the two orders is that the first time we had assorted colors and the second time it's just French pearls. The other hatchery used a much bigger box. And what's really telling about this is even though they shipped on a warmer day, there is a heat pad right here and again on the other side. This gave the bird something to brood up against and stay warm while in shipping. So, thanks again for joining us. Uh, it's not been the best story to put together, and this is the story we were trying to do last week. Will you be quiet, please? So, please, as always, hit the like button, subscribe, Give us any comments. It really does help us out. And we really enjoy hearing from you. And I'll leave you with some footage of happy little Keats. Thanks.